All right, so we're going to get into the pebble now. Let's open this up. And it's uh, super, super simple to get in. And the great thing is, is, you know, in some of the older RVs, you have to kind of like pull this out, but it's, it's really easy. Like once you actually set this thing in place, this pops out along with some of the other things, just sets in place. We'll get into that in a little bit, but let's go inside. All right, so just getting inside, I mean, this thing is completely just lit up. So here you have a full space where you can sit down, have breakfast, dinner. Um, and the great thing too is there's just tons of room for storage. So this table actually goes down and you can actually sleep and put one or two people here, obviously even more maybe with kids, but uh, just tons of storage um, and it's pretty deep. It goes both ways. Along here too also, you can actually open this up and areas to put clothes or anything else that you need to kind of like store. You put pillows, maybe sleeping bags. Um, and then there's some more storage on both sides, probably just drawers that you can pull out. And then we have, um, obviously here, if we get in, you can see the full bath. Um, it's pretty, I mean, again, this is just, it's absolutely stunning. You got the ambient light pretty much running all the way through. They have a, a microwave over here. So in case you need to get in there, they also have um, the full fridge. This thing is actually, it's a pretty big fridge. Uh, considering for an RV this size. Also to the, the quick call out is this thing is 6,200 pounds. So it's great for the Cybertruck. As you know, that, that was literally my first question. So uh, we have the full fridge there and then you have the full sink here. Um, there's really nothing in here and I believe this is probably a, um, actually I really like that. Do you see that? So if you yeah. just kind of zoom in here, you can put that and it closes, pop it and you can pull this out. So this looks like for all of your, um, amenities that you need for cooking, for your peppers, and then you just push it back in. Wow, that's that's awesome. <laughs> it's, it's the small things. And then you obviously have the full kitchen. This window actually can pop out. Um, this stove, you have this stove as well, and actually, uh, from my understanding, is you can actually, because this has a 45 kilowatt battery, you can actually pull this out and take this outside with you and still use the stove outside here. Um, again, there's more more storage in here. Actually, um, not as much actually there. But here, you know, this is a full kitchen. So you have um, all the stuff that you need, your forks, your spoons, just, in, you know, areas for towels, along with, let's just keep going. Here, again, just more storage. There's just, um, and typically, um, I think one of the things that they were saying is that it's awesome how much uh, work room you have. Cause typically in RVs, everything is, is, you typically don't get as much table space. So again, just lots and lots of storage. And then I love um, in here there, that doesn't look like it's much storage, but I just love these little, these little punches. It's uh, probably, I probably like it a little bit too much. Um, and then here, what's interesting is uh, before that, we'll just pull this down, I believe. Okay, here, can you pull this down? Oh, look at that. So super simple, and look at that. So I just pulled that cord, and the bed, the bed comes down. Look at look at that. So you can sleep a total of four people with the, the bed over there, and two people here. So uh, I just love that they are, you, they're, they're making it super easy and versatile for you to be able to flex up and down this. So I'm gonna try to pick this up here. I pick it up, I'm gonna push it all the way. And look at that. And then you can even set up some chairs here to kind of sit and have a working station. Um, and then there's just plugs everywhere, right? You got a couple plugs here. Uh, let's show it right here. You actually even have some lights. You can turn on vents if you need to, window if you need to, and then another plug. And then let's see what's looks like again, just more storage. So, um, as you're getting comfortable, it's really awesome that there's just so much storage in here and a lot of space that you're able to really take back. Um, so it does get a little bit small when you get in the back of this. Uh, let's also too just quickly show the skylight here. So there is a skylight here. Um, just, um, and I know that you get in here, you get a 270 degree angle all the way around. Um, let's also check out the bathroom. 
Okay, so I'm gonna open this up. Oh, so all you do is just move it up and uh, let's, let's have you come around and then I'll just open this up. So in, in the bathroom itself, here, I'll just I'll get in here. Yeah. There's literally three um, light switches here. You got your lights, you got the vent, and then, did you see that? Yeah. Oh. So do what we, you can see is time. if I am if I need privacy and there's people in the RV that I don't want to look at this, from inside, I can control who can see in. So um, I love that small attention to detail, uh, but even getting in the shower, so if you come around here, even getting in the shower, I have room, which is pretty pretty crazy. So, but then, yeah, they have the full shower head. Um, you can even sit if you have to. There's a lot of space. And then even down in here, looks like, again, more storage for your, your amenities. Um, and then more plugs. So, got a couple of plugs over here. Um, and then, let's just open this up. Yeah, so just tons of, tons of storage. See, sometimes you can typically, the window, look at that. So the mirror here, you can, uh, is there anything? There's more storage if you can see behind there. So, yeah, just the, um, the simplicity and the level of detail. And again, um, from my understanding is you can literally only, there's only one interior trip. So there's not gonna be all these different colors. It's just very simple for $135,000. And again, the, I think what's unique about this is this this really fits my type of market in that I'm not a I'm not an RVer, I'm not a trucker. And more importantly, I can be just kind of like the layman and be able to use this thing. So we're gonna show you potentially some, some additional cool assets about it, uh, of it hitching up using a remote control. Um, but really, again, I mean, it's uh, it's pretty pretty amazing just to see how simple the the level of detail um, that they've made this, but also too just the market that they're trying to target. Uh, they're not going after everybody, right? They're going after making it super super accessible to people, which is going to be the key thing here. So I'm a big fan. I, I'm I'm excited to, to hook this up to my cyber truck at some point. Um, and just take it out and see see what it's like. But um, so we're gonna go out for more demos outside. All right. So this is the Pebble. Here we have the 240 volt along with the uh, CCS adapter. This is obviously to charge it, and then this gives you full access to be able to use the battery. Uh, you could potentially even charge your house and your electric vehicle on this side, obviously. Um, but this gives you. Um, an extra battery even if you have an emergency. So really, really cool and obviously makes it super simple to, to charge it. Hey guys, Ted Morena here. I'm, I'm at Pebble. As you can see, we have this amazing camper RV trailer and I have an iPad here that has control on it. Now this is just the current GUI and what I'm gonna actually do is move this trailer. Now notice, there's no vehicle attached here, right? But because there's two motors on this vehicle, I can move it forward or backwards. So it's always obviously a good idea to make sure that nothing's in the way, but you can see I'm backing it up. And then you can also turn it. So if you want to, oh, okay, need to squeeze it in a space over here, you can just rotate the vehicle, and I'm just simply holding controls on my hand. And then you can have it go uh, forward or backward. So it's like, oh yeah, I want to get into this little space over there. So I'm going to just keep backing it up. I'm going to turn it a little bit more up on the side. And then I can have it go forward or backward and you know back right into the space or wherever I want. So it's just kind of amazing at how much flexibility this has and how easy it will be to fit into various spots. So that's really what I wanted to show you guys. And what we're gonna show you next is how you attach it onto a vehicle. One of the great things about the Pebble is not only did we show you the automatic jacks with the um, steps that fold down, but getting the hitch attached to a vehicle can really be difficult now obviously we showed you the remote control so you could you could do it but pebble takes it even further so what we're going to show you and uh, let's go ahead and, and get it started 
is that this is going to do it automatically. So the, uh, the Pebble has a bunch of sensors and it has motors and stuff. You can actually see the trailer is, is, is lifting itself up. It knows it has to get to a certain height. It roughly needs three to four feet or so. You gotta get within a few feet of where the hitch is. But you can see the unit lifted itself up and now it starts to look and see where the hitch is on the vehicle. And it, and it kind of brings it in, it comes over. It's really just magic. I mean, I'm like just super impressed with this. And it's just bringing the ball and, and, and having it hitch right in. It gets right to where it needs to. And then the, the, the pebble's lowering itself. And then when it gets low enough, you're gonna hear this click. That's the actual hitch locking on to the ball. This is really impressive. And if you've ever done this by hand, wow. uh, you, know, you know how difficult it can be. How, much, how magical is that? The wonders of modern technology, right? This is just great. Another example of how Pebble takes the experience of RVing and makes it so simple. It's really over the top.